Hi everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Dre Food Channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing today. In this video, I am going to show you how to fry a very, very, very tasty fish that you can use with any recipe or you can even eat with banku or kenke. So if you want to know how I prepared this fish, please keep on watching and I'll see you next time. For this recipe, I am going to use the cooker fish. And I am also going to use some lemon. You can always replace it with lime. So my fish has already been gutted and cleaned by the fishmonger. It saves me time <laughs> because it takes quite a bit of time to do it. So just let him do it. So once I get home, I just wash it with cold water so as you can see I filled it up with water and then I am going to squeeze my lemon or lime and then just dump it into it and then I'll wait a few minutes and then I am going to wash the fish with the lemon so just as you see here in the video I have sped up the video a bit because um, it was a bit long so yeah I use lemon to wash it every time and for any type of fish and then I discard the water and fill it up again with more fresh water so I'll be washing it about two to three times Next, I am going to pat dry it with some kitchen towel or kitchen paper, making sure it is well dried. And then I am going to season my fish. So I am first going to start with a badia complete seasoning. This seasoning tastes so good and I got it from Amazon UK but I guess if you are in the US I'm sure you can also find it over there and then of course I am going to add some salt to taste and I'm using fine salt fine sea salt and then one of my favorite I am going to add some paprika Sometimes I use smoked paprika, but this time this is the one I had And I am also going to be seasoning my fish with some all-purpose seasoning from the brand Jumbo You can also replace it with some fish seasoning or even crayfish seasoning if that's what you have And that's it. So now I am going to mix it And make sure the seasoning enters every corner of the fish that's it and this time I am NOT going to let it sit I'm going to fry it straight away so I'm going to coat it with flour and I am using all-purpose flour or even plain flour So the quantity of flour really depends on the amount of fish you have. And then I am going to season the flour with some garlic granules, which can be replaced with garlic powder. And then I am also going to season with my mild Caribbean curry. I really, really like this one, but you can use any type of curry powder that you have or that you like and that's it so I just added garlic and curry so now I'm going to mix it it's a very very easy but tasty recipe so now the flour is ready and I am just going to coat the fish with the seasoned flour and make sure you coat it very well.
heated some oil fresh oil and I am going to add in some fresh rosemary use the dried one if you can find this one and of course a bit of fresh garlic just two cloves and then I'll wait a few seconds and then deep fry the coated fish and as I said this is the coca fish with a white flesh and if you've never tasted this one I urge you to taste it because it tastes amazing the fish doesn't look very nice its head looks so ugly I mean that's what I think but it tastes very very good especially when you eat it with kenke and bengi it's just one very delicious fish so now let it fry until nice and golden make sure it doesn't burn when one side is ready uh, flip it onto the other side or just before that side is ready yes Mm. so the fish is ready when it's golden brown as I said and as you can see here this is how I like my fish although some people like it a bit more fried so a bit more darker but it really depends on how you like your fried fish but this is perfect for me so I'm taking it out of the oil and then I'm going to let the excess oil uh, drain on kitchen towel or kitchen paper and then I will carry on with frying the rest of my fish so this is it it is so crispy on the outside and so moist on the inside just take a look at this yummy this is the perfect fried fish well dear friends this is the end of my recipe I hope you are going to try it if you do don't forget to send me a message on Instagram and I'll be happy to post it on my page um well that's it so thank you very much and i'll see you next time for another tasty mrs Ruby recipe thank you all and stay blessed bye bye